Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to Jolly Bees Phase Two. This is Episode Three, and we should have a pretty good grasp of things in this video. You guys have been very supportive, not only with the series itself, but also helping me out with tips for what I should do. So as you can see up here, I have $2,640. That's because there actually is a glitch in the box checking minigame. Uh, I'm, I really hope the dev doesn't patch it because all of these minigames take way too long. You have to get 30 packages here. There's like 20-ish boxes for this one. There's 15 of these and you have to nail the code every time or else your money decreases. And then box transportation, there's like at least 12 boxes. So there's a pretty easy glitch in here um, that it actually tells you what box is a continue or a reject. That's all I'm going to say for now. Um, the only reason why I don't want to tell you guys about it is because I just really don't want the developer to know because that's the only way I have been able to farm up points because this game is really difficult. Every everything takes way too long in my opinion, but it is still a fun game. And you guys have been su supporting the series so much, so we are continuing on. The one thing people have been telling me about is the hacking system. Okay, um, there was this one very, very helpful commenter by the Flame Dragon. They suggested that I really, really, really need to use the motion detectors and especially the hacking system. Apparently, I can actually control the animatronics with the hacking system. It's a little bit weird. Um, and then also, I think someone said to use the flashlight a little bit too. And we also can upgrade things. I'm going to get motion detector and I think rebooting is fine, but we are gonna get it just in case, I think. Okay, so we're gonna start the shift and I'm gonna explain what everything does because apparently the um, hacking system used to be super OP. So, as you can see, Popo is the only one here. Why is that? That's a little weird. Anyways, let's get the ball rolling on this. Okay, so someone's right there. So the motion detector tells me where people are every time they move. And apparently... Okay, wait, some, someone might be here. Did they add that sound effect? They might have. I don't have to hide under the desk for these two. But, I'm going to just in case Yum is here, you know? Alright, battery recharge, come on. No one, okay. That is good, let's get this going yet again. I might try out hacking sometime soon. Apparently there's only supposed to be three characters on this night, even though I'm pretty sure I saw Hetty uh, last episode. Okay, so some people are making their way over. Okay, someone should be here pretty soon. Actually, I'm just gonna double check now. Uh, I feel like they may have added an audio cue. Alright, someone's right there. Oh, wait. No, no one's here. I'm going to quickly reset the motion detector. Or reboot it, whatever. Hey. Okay, so he should be dealt with. Uh, Popo should be here, but I don't have my battery. So I'm gonna hide under the desk. I'm pretty sure this works. Hopefully. I don't know. I know that I need to hide under, under the desk for Twirly. Hetty, no. Ah, uh, it doesn't work really? Damn, that's gonna be really difficult if they're right there. If Yum and Popo are right there. That's gonna be really difficult. I don't know if there's a good way of avoiding that, actually. Okay, I mean, I guess we can try hacking people because, actually, probably should have because you can actually control the animatronics and send them to certain cameras send them to certain locations in the building, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Already up to 10 packages nearly, but that is only a tenth of the way there. You see what I mean? This game has a lot of stuff to do. And you have to do it pretty swiftly. Alright, is someone here? I actually didn't check. No. Nice. Uh, might be. So let's try sending Yum out up here. Now, apparently, I can't actually switch to anything else while that's hacking. I'm surprised it'll even let me close out of the monitor, because usually it wouldn't let you do that. Got to you. I can still do this, which is good. Let's do motion detect. Someone's up there. 
Someone might actually be here. Uh, but I wouldn't know, of course, because the fucking battery. Okay, no, we're good. I might try and send out an audio right there, because I'm pretty sure I saw someone in that general location. Maybe. Or not. God damn it. Keep in mind, this is only night three. I'm pretty sure that's new. The sound effects whenever someone's here. I like that. I like that. That's good. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. There's nothing I can really do. Okay. Apparently the cameras aren't that good, but I'm going to use them quickly. For yum. Okay, he's all the way back there, actually. So let's keep this rolling. So, an important thing about the motion detector, it doesn't actually tell you which animatronic is moving. It just shows you that a character is moving, which is kind of annoying, but uh, not anything you can do about that. And he's here. Okay, where? Should be him dealt with. Back to motion detect. Oh, really? That's so... This is what you have to do for Hetty. God, she's here for so long. Is that it? Better be it. Jesus. Hey. No clue where Yum is. Oh, that's probably him. That's gotta be. Wait, can I try hacking him, actually? Send him just back there at least. Right? No, that wasn't him. That's good. I don't... This is night three, and there's four characters, and there were... Uh, I don't know. I might have to get a... Oh, my flashlight is already at level three, and it still sucks. How? I... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is gonna be real fun. This is only night three. I still can't believe this is only night three. It's just gonna get worse from here on out. Just twirly. Oh. So, this is simple. You just gotta dodge her. Like the uh, minigame of the first Jollibees. There we go. Hey. Okay. Oh uh, my. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm going to try a new tactic. Um, once I see someone in the window, whether it be. Uh, fucking. Come on. Uh, Popo or Yum, I'm going to lure the other one out away. I don't know if that's gonna work though. I also don't think it would be a bad idea just every now and then to, okay, just hide under the desk, okay, just in case there is someone there, and I really should not be doing this. See? It could pay off in the end, like right here. I really hope that no one can appear in the window when this is happening, because if so, that's kind of that's kind of just cheating. Like, there's nothing I can do about it, you know. Uh, back to motion detect. This might be one of the furthest we've gotten. We're in the twenties. I don't know. That's that's not something to be. No. It's not something to be proud of because that's only twenty of a hundred. I feel like this game just needs to calm down a little bit, you know? Just just a little bit. Because this is going up, what, 15 each night? So on night 5, we're going to have to get to 130. And that's with every single character. That's, it's just insane. Like, this is night 3, and people are already stuck on it. I've been watching Fusion play through this game. And he's stuck in the same place that I am, Night 3. I don't know how other people have beaten it, because this is just straight-up insanity. 
I don't think it's a bad idea either. Some people say that the cameras aren't helpful in this game, but I think they can be helpful in some situations like that, where someone's just right outside, because you can see them when they come in. Actually, I want to hack Yum out to just random up there. Furthest away from me, you know. Take your time, Tully. I've got all night. No, I fucking don't. Because I doubt animatronics stop moving when you're here. Okay. Oh, that went by quick. That was nice. Uh, what? You went away. You went away. I'm not seeing anyone close to me, but then again... Who knows? Hey, what? Why didn't you appear then? Hello? Is the game glitched? Hello? Knock knock. Where the fuck are you? I've got stuff to do. God, are you... What? Oh, this is funny now. Oh, I went from mad to I'm I'm in a good mood now. <sighs> Thanks, game. Anyone? No. Yay! Positive thoughts, guys. Positive thoughts. I'm trying to get Yum away then. Yum, just go the frick anywhere. Why didn't that work? Does that mean he's here? Probably means he's here. And I'm about to die. Uh, I guess not. Why can I hack him? Uh, Twilly, let's get you out. Hey, that did mean he's here. Oh, they are here. That should do it. I mean, I technically did flash the light at them. Oppo, I'm just gonna send you up there. Ah, oh, that did get them. Damn. Oh, that was the furthest we've ever gotten. We were in the 30s. Just the 30s. You know what? I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Uh, so basically... You can spam this, and it'll tell you if it's going to continue or not. It helps out, alright? So, next one's a decline. And then you just got to pay attention for yum. Next one's an accept. You see? It, I mean, it helps out a lot, and my eyes are really freaking itchy. No one. Next one's an accept. And then you just do this for all 30. It's still tedious, but... Next one's a reject. You get the point. That's one. I didn't miss one. So... I'm only gonna get 560. Or 580. Yeah. You get... The max you can get is 630 boxes, which means it's $20? I mean, that wouldn't make sense. I missed one and I get 580, so yeah. Now what to upgrade, because it feels like everything needs to be upgraded. God, I don't fucking know. Kind of wish I didn't waste my money on this junk now. Um, I mean, really, flashlight. I think I'm doing pretty good with everything else. So, yeah. Uh, it's nice to get this up and running right away. Just so you can get in as many bo- Wait, why does it say I have- Wait a second, what? Why did- I've, I haven't done that many just yet. I think it added on one at the beginning for some reason. Alright, well I'm not gonna complain. I really don't trust anything at all. Oh my god. I'm checking it so often as well. I don't know how I'm missing them. What? What? Great, the game's glitching out. <laughs> Great. 
Yay. I don't know what, what, what is happening. I don't... It wouldn't let me use my... My hack. It wouldn't let me hack. God. Thanks, thanks game. Oh, God, God. I think I'm dead. What? Okay. Like, what are you really supposed to do in this situation? I just had Yum at the window, Hetty appeared for one attack, and then she disappeared. I'm guessing I'm dead. And then, immediately after Tully came in? What am I supposed to do? Uh, Hopo, yeah. I don't... I don't know. No clue where Hetty is. Hetty. There we go. Uh, what? I... Holy shoot. I hate this. God. I'm literally avoiding her stare. Oh my god. Why is that possible? So stupid. I'm dead. Really? Why can that actually happen? Why is that a thing that can happen? Again, I really do like this game. I really do. It's really unique. It's really creepy. I love it. It's gonna be one of the best fan games of 2020, but it's just, it's so unbelievable in some cases. No one, no one, no one. Let's keep, keep going. Woo. Let's keep, keep it going. God. Didn't I just get rid of you? I feel like I just got rid of you. Maybe that was yum. But I definitely got rid of someone and then I hacked the other one. No one. God, wh why does it wait? Just get it over with now. Why does it wait to do that? Just do it immediately and get it over with. Hey, okay, people are on their way. Guess not right now. Thanks for making me look like an idiot. I've reset this, thank you. I don't trust. I don't trust Twirly. <laughs> Twirly? That's. Game! I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, yes, yes, get me out of here. Oh my god. An hour and two minutes I've been recording for.
Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I don't even have my camera on. Oh my god. Never again. Oh my. Okay. Hi. Welcome back. My camera's now on. I've just been practicing and practicing that night for probably about two hours, I'm pretty sure, so... I'm so happy that I finally got through with it. Holy crap. I literally started shaking, and I'm pretty sure my mic was still on, so you can probably hear me like... Like, heavy breathing, copying the, uh, guy in the game, because this is very stressful. This is very complicated, a very difficult fan game, and I think everyone knows that by now. I think the real problem with this game is that, and I'm pretty sure this is the case, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is the case, only one character can appear in a camera and the window at once. So let's say there are, there's, um, Hetty and Popo at the window, just as an example, you're only going to be able to see one of them. Which is why I'm not sure how much of this night I'm gonna leave in. I might leave the whole thing in, I might just leave like half of it in, I'm not entirely sure. But you should be able to see me just whenever I flash a light at Yum or Popo, I reset something and then I just go under the desk immediately. And that's to make sure that um, Twirly or Hetty aren't in the window. And usually it takes a little bit for them, like a couple of seconds for them to actually appear under the desk. So that's why I'm waiting there a little bit. It helps for two reasons. One, like I said, um, it lets you know whether or not they were actually there. And two, it also gives you a little bit of time to recharge the flashlight battery. And I think, I mean, my flashlight's at level four and I still think it's really fucking slow. Um, hacking, it just randomly stops working throughout the night. I'm not sure how to prevent that, but I did that entire night basically without hacking. Um, I use the audio a couple of times, but most of the time I usually just let them come to me, which is not a good strategy at all. I don't rec I don't recommend doing it, but um, yeah, the rebooting time really isn't all that bad. It helps a little bit just to um, calm your mind a little bit, because you actually do get a little bit, a few seconds to understand what just happened, and you know, that's why after you flash someone, you usually want to go up and do one. And then go under the desk, and if no one comes by, wait a few seconds under the desk, and then you can flash your light and make sure no one's here. Um, I do think this game needs a massive nerf, not only for the amount of packages you have to get, but also a little bit for the character aggression. aggression. It, either that, or just make it so that more people can appear in the cameras. And I understand that's going to take a lot of work. Um, and hopefully that's something that the creator Ivan G Games is looking into. So um, yeah, there's that. I really don't know how far I'm gonna go with this game. If it took me two hours to beat night three, I can only imagine how long it's gonna take me to beat night four, five, and I'm sure there's gonna be a custom night or a secret night six or something along those lines. But for right now, I'm done with this episode. I might stream night four and the other nights, but um, for right now, I gotta throw this video up because, oh boy, I just, Mm, th this game, and I've said this in all the other episodes, it's really good, it's really unique, and I do love it, but damn is it hard. If you want to put yourself to a challenge, play this game. It's always linked down below, and it really is not for the uh, for the FNAF noob. So, thanks for watching, I am extremely out of breath, I'm still kind of shaking from all this, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.